everyone today I am doing a video on this thing and I'm so excited because I did do another video like this how long ago maybe like a year and a bit ago I'll link it down below I think the tool was like Revlon or something like that here we go it was the Revlon air dryer so yeah I showed like my hair care routine and that product so I'll do a little bit of a similar video today but today we are trying it this one here which I actually bought within New Zealand not off Amazon so it should work with our voltage this time I feel like last time the voltage was a bit off and it was like terrifying like it was like crinkling it was making scary noises I was scared I was going to electrocute myself I'll link the video down below if you're interested in watching it it is a bit of a throwback 11 months ago so we're going to try this today. I'll show you a few hair care products throughout the process as well. So I bought this off Farmers. It was $200 which is quite pricey in my opinion. You know if it works then it could be well worth it because basically what it does is it dries your hair. It blow dries it basically like it styles it. It's supposed to give you volume, smooth your hair, kind of straighten your hair or like give you that blow dried effect like depending how you use it. I've not seen anyone talking about this. I don't know how it's going to go. I just came across it on Farmers when I was having a browse. I thought it'd be fun to try because I'm always looking for products like this that actually work like that can style and dry my hair at the same time so I don't have to do two separate steps because I just feel like it's quicker, it's easier and hopefully less damaging on the hair because you're only running over it once you know to style it rather than blow drying and they're following with a tool. So I've opened it, I haven't actually like grabbed stuff out yet. Um, so let's do that now. First off we have I guess the actual like tool, the part that plugs in. It's quite large. So that's how it is. It's almost like as big as like a hair curler or something, like just as is. And then I guess you stick the wand on the end here. It's got like a little end like a traditional hair dryer and it's got cooling and then one and two options here and then I think this is the direction because it spins so it's probably just like choosing which direction you want the top part to spin. We also have a few different bits and pieces in here let me just pull them out. We have an instruction manual which will be important. We have this one here which I was interested in because I really like my GHD version. The GHD like brush straightener thing so this is like a similar concept I think. We'll see if we need to use that today. We might try that as well but the parts I'm interested in I guess are these ones so they come in this little plastic casing which is random um, I guess just to protect the bristles I don't know so there's this size and then there is a larger size for longer hair and then there's also this what is this oh it's like a carry bag I guess so that's quite good you can chuck it all together so you don't lose it so it is called the VS Sassoon intelligent hot air styler for the ultimate blow dry finish with a digital sensor. It looks really fancy, right? Like super fancy. One of the most important parts of before and after, let me just take out my hair. My hair right now is filthy, it's knotty, it's oily, it's greasy, but it's just a realistic look on how my hair looks before I wash it, I guess. So this is what we are working with. Here's my before. I'm going to go and wash my hair and, oh, there's a huge like knot at the back here. I'm gonna go wash my hair and I'll be back. I'm going to leave it in my hair towel probably for like 15 minutes or so. I'm going to go upload a video just so that it's not like dripping wet, just so it's like kind of damp. It didn't really say, I had a quick look at the instructions, it doesn't really say how wet your hair is supposed to be. It just says that if you've got fine hair to use like a mousse or something to give extra volume. I'm going to try it with no mousse. I don't have mousse. I don't use mousse. I just want to see how it works by itself. It says it's got a digital sensor which provides constant temperature control for well-protected hair, eliminating damaging hot spots and offering a hair protection. It's got holes through here, which is supposed to be ideally positioned to guarantee even and powerful airflow. Dry styles and adds volume and shine. It says it's got frizz control with its ionic conditioning things. Three switch combinations. You've got two heat slash speeds. It says that the lower speed is like a lower heat and then the higher heat is a higher speed, you know. And then it's also got a cooling function. It goes in two directions, which we just said. It's got a reduced noise, which is good because I remember that Revlon one I used was so loud. So it'd be interesting to see how this one goes. 40 millimeter brush for shorter hair, 50 millimeter brush for medium and longer hair. 3D styling control brush, which is this one, which is ideal for smoothing while drying. Oh, okay, so you can use it while you're drying your hair, that's cool. And then it's got the brush covers just for storage protection. I'll be back shortly. All right, guys, I'm back. So let me just run over my hair care routine real quick because it's so simple. 
one of the biggest things, well, one of the things I love the most, I should probably say, are hair towels. I use them every time I wash my hair because they kind of like soak up a lot of the moisture and I only end up blow drying for like a quarter of the amount of the time because my hair, yeah, it's just not like wringing wet and it's so much more gentle than like rubbing your hair with a towel, you know, like rubbing it. So you can get these from Mecca, The Warehouse, Amazon, all sorts of places. One day I really want to make my own because a lot of them have just like the little things that annoy me about them. The one that I have that I love the most is from Mecca. It's white and it has orange cords. I can't remember the brand name, but um, it's like super long so you can fit all of your hair in it really nicely and it just works well. Um, but it's so expensive, but it is good. Anyways, so that's how my hair looks. I usually just kind of like part it into place. I kind of go for like a slightly off center parting. In the shower, I use my Function of Beauty, which is the same brand. I talked about it in a video. I love it. I've been using it for ages and then they sponsored me, but I was already using it before I was sponsored. I really like it. Um, it's like hair care that's basically tailored to you. If you want to learn more about it, I'll link the video where I go into depth down below and there's also a link where you can get like a discount as well. So check out that video if you want to order. So I use the shampoo and conditioner and then I have already applied some of this. This is the leave-in cream from Function as well. I love this. I also love heaps of like salon brands like Redken and stuff like that. Like I'm always switching it up all the time. Same with my shampoo and conditioner, but lately I've just been obsessed with the Function shampoo and conditioner. Another thing I like to use probably once a week or once every couple of weeks is the pump hair masks. I love the thickening one and the repair one. This is the repair mask right here. These are so good. They make my hair feel amazing and they don't weigh my hair down because I hate hair masks that make my hair feel like heavy and flat. Those ones are amazing and really lightweight. So I definitely recommend those as well. Those are like the only hair masks I've been using lately. Before that, I wasn't using mini hair masks. Like occasionally I do like an Olaplex treatment, but usually I just keep that to the salon these days. Like my hair's not very damaged. So yeah, I just kind of do that when I'm getting my hair like bleached, I'll put Olaplex in it at the same time. The other um, leave-in conditioner that I'll sometimes use instead of the function one is this Goldwell Kira Silk. Defrizz Primer. I'll just squirt it so you can see. It's just like a kind of off-white. <laughs> it looks really dodgy. Off-white like creamy product. It just makes my hair feel really nice and conditioned and helps to tame down frizz and stuff like that, especially if I'm just letting my hair air dry. If I let my hair air dry, it like goes really like, I don't know, like lots of flyaways and things. So it's really good just to tame all of that. So my hair dries really nice and smooth. And it just, you know, helps protect a little bit against, you know, breakage and split ends and stuff like that. I really like this brand, the Kira Silk by Goldwell. I've been using that for ages. The other thing I love, this is like my ride or die hair product. If I could only have one hair product for my whole life, this is it. This is the KMS Derma Shape Quick Blow Dry, which I'm going to apply now. This is like a heat protectant, which is really important, obviously, before using tools like what we're about to do. It also helps to dry your hair faster. Don't know how it works, but it does. It really does work. It's also like really good just to condition, add a bit of shine, add a bit of just protection, conditioning, all that stuff. I don't know what else I was about to say. Thermal protection is so important, otherwise you end up with lots of little breakage spots, which I actually did to myself when I was curling my hair. I snapped off parts of my fringe because I didn't use a heat protection beforehand. So yeah, it's important and every time I get too cocky and forget to use one a few times in a row, like I pay for it. So it is so important, especially as a blonde, like my hair's already like chemically treated. So I really have to be careful. I like to spray like quite a generous amount of it. Once again, this does not weigh down my hair or make it feel like, you know, oily or anything like that. Once that's all in, I'll just brush through my hair. I've been liking this hairbrush lately. This is a tangle teaser. I also like the little circular tangle teasers. People go on about, you know, not brushing your hair when it's wet. I get it if you're using a brush that's like really dense and everything. I don't know, like I've never had a problem with tangle teasers because they're so gentle, they don't tug or pull. If I do get a bit of a knot, obviously I just brush out the ends first. Everyone knows that, surely. And I'm just gentle. I don't tug, don't pull. Just let the brush run through and just kind of like get all of those tangles out because sometimes when I've had my hair up in the towel, they can get like a bit tangled. Now we're pretty much ready to start. I've got one other like hair care product I use which I'll show you shortly. So with these kind of tools you want to like work in sections it says. So I'm probably just gonna like, I don't know, take the bottom section of my hair first. I'm just gonna tie it up the top and I'm just gonna 
go like this. Oh, also, these are the only hair ties I use. These are the Exo Beauty hair ties. They're like elastic. They're really good for thick hair, thin hair, and they don't dent your hair. Like, obviously, right now it probably will because my hair's damp. But when your hair's dry and it's like straightened or whatever, they don't dent your hair as much as other hair ties, so they don't ruin your style. And they're like way more comfortable. They don't give me headaches and stuff like that. So I'll link those below as well, along with everything else we're using today. So, I've just split my hair down the back into two sections. I'm really nervous. I guess we'll just start straight away with the bigger wand, right? Because I've got medium to long hair, like quite long hair. This is the length of, ow, I just ran over my toe. This is the length of my natural hair now, just kind of on the boobs. I really want it to like hair, so. We're getting there. Okay, so we've got our tool here. I'm just gonna quickly see how loud it is. So, first we've got cool mode. Okay. Level one, and then level two. So the cool mode and the level two sound about the same, and then level one's a little bit quieter. So it does say in the instructions, while you're getting used to it, work in small sections, start at the bottom, get a feel for it, and then work your way towards the root, just like so you don't tangle your hair, I guess. If you just go ball deep and you don't know what you're doing, you could end up like with a big, huge knot, which is what I'm scared of. So basically, there's that. And then there's like a little lock on the top, so I've already got some of my hair stuck in the brush. Well done. Okay, so which direction do I go? I'm just going to put it on level one. So I guess I go that way. Wait. So you do hold the button down to rotate it. It doesn't just like automatically go for it. Like if you stop pressing the button, it will stop twisting, which is kind of good. It makes it easier to control like if you are getting into a little bit of trouble. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out which way I need to rotate it. That's inwards. That's outwards. Okay, so let me just start with like, I don't know, one of the back sections. Hopefully you guys can hear me. <laughs> so over. Oh, shit. I don't really know how to do this. Oh my god, it's so confusing. What if I just go like this? That dried so quick. Um, I'm kind of struggling just to get my section in place. You can kind of like ease it up and go like this. And then what you can do is you can press the arrow in the opposite direction to then release it, just like that. And that's drying really nicely. I don't know what I was expecting. Like, is this what I, I don't, I don't, I just, whoop. So then you'd pull it up a bit at the root just to get that volume. How long do you have to hold it there for? I don't know. And then I guess you go like on cool to really set it in place. Let's try it. Okay, so that one strand looks really nice. It feels nice. It feels really dry. It feels like overly dry. Like I probably went over that same area too many times. But it looks really smooth. I'm just gonna see out of interest, oof, what happens when that wasn't very hot either, by the way. Obviously be careful when you're pulling it off. Like, it does heat up, but it's not too hot yet. I only used it for one section. I'm just gonna see what happens with this brush. How does this one click on? Oh, it's at the back this time. I'm gonna go on at level two this time, just cause I'm not really like, you know, messing around with directions and things. So it should be pretty safe. works like it's still not completely dry I couldn't be bothered doing that like I would rather just you know blow dry my hair it doesn't get as hot as the GHD one like to really straighten your hair but it would definitely smooth like if you just had you know a little bit of frizz or your hair was like a little bit damp from you know like working out or if it was a little bit damp from like a bit of rain or whatever it'd be good just to quickly like run over and smooth it up but so far I can tell I definitely prefer the round brush because it really does like get in there, gives you that volume and like really lifts. So I'm gonna quickly just go over this section of my hair and I'm gonna try it on level two this time.
Okay, this is so fiddly. Obviously with like time, I feel like you would get better at this. But at the moment I'm like, I could have blow dried my hair by now, no joke, like, <laughs> and I've done like two sections, but it is my first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like speed up the rest of this and I'll chuck on some music and you can watch me. I'm probably gonna struggle quite a bit. I have to say like these strands look beautiful. They look smooth. There's like that little blow dry flick where it just looks really cute. My hair looks shiny as literally so, so shiny. So beautiful, so smooth. I really like the finished result, but it'll just be interesting to see if I think it's worth it by the end because it's taking a little while. I'm gonna go ahead and just yeah run through it. I'm gonna try and do like slightly bigger sections and just see if it works out as well and just go from there. Okay, just quickly, I have to say, I'm starting to get the hang of it, and I've actually started rolling it under to really lift, because before I was like rolling it up trying to lift, and that doesn't make sense. I don't know what was going through my head. So I've kind of gone like this, like under, and then really lifted it, like pulled at my roots a little bit to try and lift the hair, and then kind of gone backwards down the bottoms to try and flip my hair out a little bit down the bottom and really smooth it out. I feel like it's one of those products you really gotta like try for yourself and just try to like figure it out because if you just like watch someone doing it it's really hard to do I feel like anyway yeah it's just like easier when you're actually doing it you can kind of feel and it feels right you know it feels right okay now I'm getting that volume look at that okay awesome I'm gonna like cool it down now Okay, I've got my hair stuck in the brush. This is what I was afraid of. Ooh, I'm gonna snap this, aren't I? It's like wedged in there. I don't really know how to go about this. I'm stuck. I managed to pull it out sideways, like rotate it out. It just like obviously twisted with the motion. So if that happens to you, just take the thingy off and then just like rotate it to try and like unlatch the hair. It's not good though. Okay, I think that's why you need to work in small sections. I kind of got a bit cocky. Alright guys, I feel like I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to go over with a quick brush. Okay, so overall I feel like it was gentler than blow drying. Like it wasn't as vigorous, but I feel like I had to go over each area multiple times and it took way longer. Like normally I'd blow dry my hair for like 5 to 10 minutes max. This took me like, you know, if I wasn't talking, probably like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. But to be fair, it's my first time. Like I feel like it would get quicker. And I found that doing these like vertical sections like this way worked way better at the top just to like really get under and like curl it around like that. Overall I like the look. I don't know really if I would go for this all the time like just because it took a while. I feel like I'd almost want to like blow dry my hair to like 90% and then just go in with this to give volume. 
then it's just doing stuff twice once again. But I love the way my hair looks at the end. Like, it looks shiny, it looks beautiful. My hair looks, yeah, way less frizzy. This piece of fringe is annoying me. I've blow dried it weird and it's like flicking in. <laughs> yeah, overall it definitely works. Um, I definitely have more volume than I normally would you know, just chucking a blow dryer through and it's nice and sleek and straight. It's really shiny. The ends look really nice and kind of like flicked, which I really like. Like it gives that kind of blow dry effect. Looks much nicer than it did in the beginning of the video. That's for sure. To finish off my hair, usually I either do this once again or some of the serum which I've been using lately, the function one. So I'm taking one and a half pumps. And then I'm just going to run that through my ends and mid-length. I love this. It smells like pear. You can choose your own scent, but mine's pear-scented. I love pears. <laughs> I said on Twitter the other day, I was like, pears are so underrated. Like, pears are one of the best fruits. I swear to God. So, yeah, I don't know how much I'll use this. What do you guys think? Would you purchase this or is it not worth the money? I feel like I'm going to keep it for now. I might try it again, you know, with my blow dryer just like at the end of my blow dry session just to really give volume and like give that kind of nice little flick to my ends just to really tame my hair and make sure it's all sitting in the right direction. If I don't end up using it a lot, I feel like I'll probably give this to my mum or something because I feel like she would probably like something like this and I feel like she'd be like really good at it as well because I think she uses like a round brush to blow dry. So for something like that, I think it'd be perfect. And yeah, that's my hair care routine. Very simple, I know. Oh, there's one more product I forgot to mention, and that's Fudge Purple Shampoo. I still use that. I haven't really been using my De Lorenzo Pink Shampoo lately. That's what I mentioned in the last video, which is linked below already. That's how I used to get that, that pinky hue to my hair, but I haven't been going for that lately. I've been liking the kind of like warmer look almost. Not like yellow hair or orange hair, just like, you know. I don't, a little bit more golden blonde I guess slightly I don't know creamy golden so I've just been using the fudge purple shampoo like once every couple of weeks like I barely use it just to tame down any orange tones in my hair and yeah overall I like how my hair looks definitely looks better definitely works I feel like I probably wouldn't use this one so much but once again it would be good just to like run through if you just had like slightly damp hair and just quickly wanted to dry it um, and tame down the frizz. Probably depends on your hair type too. So yeah, I hope you guys found this interesting. I feel like it was kind of boring. I'm sorry if it was boring. I just thought I would try it for you guys and get some more content out for you guys down in lockdown like I am. Lockdown clan, yay fun. If we can make it through this lockdown and um, do it properly, hopefully the sooner we can go back to a normal life of being able to leave our houses whenever we want and you know, go to shops and do fun things. It's all temporary or for a better cause. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog or video and I don't, like literally my brain just doesn't work anymore. I don't even know what's happening. What day of the week is it right now? Like, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> bye.